What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Review, we're going to be going over the AmazeFit Bip U Pro. I was relatively excited to get my hands on one of these because my previous AmazeFit Band 5 worked really well, so I wanted to get a review of another AmazeFit Band. Let's see how it goes. First things first, let's go ahead and get into the specifications. This guy is at $70 currently on Amazon. It's rocking a 1.43 inch, not AMOLED display, but TFT display, so it doesn't get as vibrant as AMOLED, but it still works really well. And it's also rocking Gorilla Glass 3, so it's very scratch resistant to anything like metal. And as you could probably tell right here, it is not the best in direct sunlight, but it's still relatively bright. It has five atmospheres of water resistance, so you can go swimming with this guy, and it even has swim tracking involved in the 60 different sports modes, and there is a lot to go through. It does have a 230 milliamp hour battery that they say is about nine days through my testing and turning everything on. You can still get about eight days, which is pretty darn good. The sensors it has, it does of course have a heart rate monitor, it has an accelerometer, it has an SpO2 sensor, and also it has a GPS for all of your running and cycling and stuff like that. It does have Alexa built in, so you can ask Alexa a couple different questions, and if you got some smart home things through Alexa, you could use it. It does have Bluetooth 5.0, so that's great as well. Comes in three different colors, black, pink, and green. And the phones you're going to need, it has to have Android 5.0 or higher and iOS 10 or higher. All right, let's go ahead and get into the app. The app is called the Zep app. It is relatively robust. So that just come on the, uh, the exercises that I was going over. So when you're looking at the app itself, you can see everything right here. I didn't really have it on today as this was my shooting day, your heart rate and stuff like that, and your PAI score. This is your personal activity indicator score that you can kind of gamify your fitness to be able to get higher scores, your sleep data, your cycles, so menstrual cycles for your women, and of course, your consistency level and other data generated on the bottom. When you go into your center, you go into a lot of other things that you have, your find your device, so it will vibrate if you're looking for it. You could change your different watch faces on here, and it also has the store to buy even more watch faces. Then from there, you can get your relative and friends involved, you can change your target settings in the app, and you could change out if you want to be able to manage incoming calls on the actual band itself and your app alerts if you want your messages your emails and stuff right there you want to change up the vibration mode again unlock screen all right here world clop your uh, device settings and stuff like that and if you want to add a to-do list on and then there's other stuff for other devices at the bottom as well when you go into your profile these are a couple different things you want to jump into immediately of course I did use the amazing Fit Band 5. Check that review right up there. I was a big fan of the Amaze Fit Band 5. You can change your goals, your records, add an account, and going into your settings, you can also change your notifications and behavioral and change your units. Of course, if you're Imperial, like we are here in the America, is fun, but you can also go to the metric system as well. And of course, you want to go into the Smart Analyst, so you want to be able to get your sleep quality analytics built in that give you better sleep quality readings. And then there's also a lot of things that you could put in yourself. These aren't built into the actual app, so when you go to your home page, you can actually put in your muscle mass. So if you did read your body fat percentage, you'll be able to put it in. And then there's a lot of other things. You can go in your weight. You could put in a lot of different things so you would be able to track it right in the app, so it's very helpful in that regard. All right, let's go ahead and get to the user interface of this guy. First thing, kind of the build and how it looks. You have all your sensors in the back, and this is also where you're gonna put your magnetic charger. It only goes in the correct way, so it pops right in. And it's about two hours to get to a full charge, so that is awesome. Also getting into that band, hitting this button is a back button, but it also goes into all the things that you're gonna need. Your activity goals, your PAI score for the day, where your heart rate is, how your sleep was. This is where you get into your workouts as well. So this will have a lot of stuff built in. Again, there are over 60 modes, but you'll be able to change it and go into more sports and add whichever ones you really need. And of course it does do the GPS if you're doing outdoor stuff. Look into your workout history. It has the SPO2 sensor here. So if you wanna go over your SPO2, your blood 
oxygen saturation it is built in and of course that's going to help you also have your stress and if you need breathing stuff as well which is awesome for stress management if you're a woman looking for cycle tracking you put that in alarms then you have your setting what you need your watch face on auto screen off if you want to keep it on for a little bit longer you do have the option here and of course it says the battery life will go down by a little bit your notifications built in where your preferences what the system's all about and then when you go into more this is where you built in your alexa your music app your weather and pretty much all your extra stuff your stopwatch features your pedometer i wasn't a big fan it did not track the steps too well so i'll definitely not reuse that too well as a good parameter and also can use your camera on your cell phone so that is a big bonus there and going back and back you have your home screen when you want to swipe down that's going to be where you're going to have your quick settings settings your night mode if you need that on or off and then also you have your settings built in right there as well and your brightness of your screen when you swipe over to the right there's your activity goals where your heart rate has been where your spo2 sensor is your stress where your pai goal where the weather is your music and then Alexa and when you swipe the other way it just goes basically in the opposite direction and when you swipe up that's where your notifications are and don't forget this band is a replaceable band I believe it's 18 millimeters so if you're looking for a better band it's relatively easy to replace All right, now it's time to get into its fitness tracking and its sleep tracking. If you want to go into your previous data, you have to the top right button, and then you can go into everything you need to. So if you want to go into your exercise records, all right here. So let's go right into it. I did a couple different exercises, and on the runs, I felt best as the heart rate was consistent. It's there's not a lot of spikes, so it was reading relatively well. But I'm a bigger fan of high intensity interval training, so I do CrossFit and stuff like that. And as you can tell, my heart rate read a maximum of 126 here i'm gonna also put the whoop right over here to be able to show that and you can see i'm getting in excess of about 170 beats per minute i'm not exactly sure why it didn't read me too well i was putting it on different wrists i was changing the actual um I was changing how tight the band was on my wrist and it never was really able to feel those ebbs and flows of my heart rate so I'm not a big fan of his fitness tracking but talking about that let's go ahead and get right into its sleep tracking so this is where i can definitely tell you about how awesome this band is so you go in a day like the 28th of february seven hours and 59 minutes it's got a deep sleep rem sleep light sleep i'll put in the whoop readings right over here that's always been very accurate and as you can tell it really did do a really good job of its sleep tracking going from the ebbs and flows and be able to give you an actual score at the end and give you some breathing quality so you'll be able to see what your quality of your sleep was and stuff like that. And you can even read through short naps if you need to. So if you are a daytime sleeper, it will actually track short naps as well for those of you who have the night shift and are looking to be able to track your daily sleep as well. Also with its fitness tracking and its step counting, also wasn't that accurate. I mean, I was expecting a lot more from the BitView Pro, but it really didn't turn out to be that well with fitness tracking. All right, so what are my recommendations with this guy? Uh, not the biggest fan of its overall high intensity interval training tracking. If you do want to use it for running and something a little bit more steady state cardio, not going to be that bad. It has GPS built in, so it'll be able to track your runs as well, but it won't really be able to be able to track your actual pace, so you won't be able to look down at your pace, so not the most advanced in that regard. I would definitely push you more towards, like if you're looking to spend a little bit extra, something along the lines of the Fitbit Charge 4 that has a GPS built in that is so much better with your heart rate and you'd be able to track better. So I definitely would not consider this being a great activity tracker. On the other hand, if you're looking for a good sleep score, an accurate reading of how well you're sleeping, I really can't, for what it does, I really can't recommend anything that's going to be that much better at this price point. If you're looking for solid sleep scores and solid sleep tracking, this Amazfit Banyu Pro is going to do a great job for you. 
It has nine days of battery life, so you don't need to charge it. Only takes about two hours to charge. So if you're looking for good sleep tracking, this will work well. And of course, you can get all your notifications with Alexa built in. But overall, I would definitely recommend something a little bit better. If you're looking for the best fitness tracking, go maybe towards Fitbit Inspire 2. It's not going to have the big, vibrant screen that this does. But if you're looking for accurate readings, I would definitely push you more towards the Fitbits. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm a new YouTube channel, so please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Got two new tech reviews each and every week. But other than that, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one.